So you can come join me on YouTube as well, the bigger screen. Hello, everybody. Hello, YouTube. Grab your socks. Let's go ahead and get started for our 30-minute Pilates sliding class. We're going to do core, arms, and legs. It's going to be super fun. All right. So I have my mat folded up because you don't need the whole thing. All right. So let's just first start by getting those legs stretched out a bit because you do need some flexibility here in the body, right? And it just feels good to move your body around a bit. All right. So let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's start with some body rolls. I know you're like, what the heck? Why are we doing body rolls? Well, it's really great to know how to articulate through the body all the way through. Yes. Sometimes we get really stuck in our bodies. All right. And then let's try to go the other way. Let's see if I can do it. Uh-oh. Yes. <laughs> so just try to move it all, any which way you can. Good. And then the other way. Woo! I know, we're having a little party over here. Let's just move that body. All right, let's do nice big shoulder rolls. Ah, feels good. All right, and get those arms going. Woo! I know, feels good, right? All right, shake it out. Shake it out. Get everything nice and warmed up, and then go ahead and tuck your chin in and take yourself all the way down. Into a nice little forward fold. Woo. You can bend the knees and straighten the legs. Again, bend the knees, straighten the legs. Feels really, really good, right? Bend those knees. Let's take those hands behind us, clasp them, and then stretch the shoulders out behind us. Nice. Let the shoulders fall to the ears. Let the scapula stretch. Nice. And if you want, you can bend and straighten the legs as much as you can. A lot of you guys have been asking for warm-ups before the classes, so here you go. Here's your warm-up. <laughs> I know a lot of you have been wanting one with all these live classes. Okay. All right. You guys ready? Woo! All right, here we go. So we're going to start with hands on the floor. And we're going to slide our legs out and in. I know this is so good for your core and your arms. So I'm going to tuck my knees in towards my chest. And then I'm going to extend the legs out. Beautiful. Tuck them in and reach them out. So pull from the core. Squeeze the inner thighs in. And reach the legs back out. So you've got to use your arms in order to extend or push the legs back out. So there's so much resistance happening here. Right? Let's do five more just like this. Five. And extend. Four. And reach. You've got this. Three. Out. Nice. Two. And one, and out, nice job, come on down. And go ahead and sit back onto your heels, just like I'm doing, so you're gonna get a nice little foot stretch. So have the toes tucked underneath you, have the ankles together, sit up tall here on your heels. Beautiful, okay. I'm already sweating. <laughs> it is hot, it's a hot day. But I'm excited about that. I like sweating. Okay, because I don't normally sweat. So when I do, I know it's definitely a good workout. All right. So we're going to um, now pull the legs in one at a time. In. And we're going to cross. Good. In. And cross. In. Cross. In. Cross. Woo! Look at you go. Nice. This is the way that I was able to get so strong, honestly, working my core like this, right? Because you have the sliding, so there's, it's very unstable. It's meant to be like that. So your body has to work twice as hard to stabilize. And for me, being super flexible, I need this type of stability. But even if you're not super flexible, you still need this stability. Everybody needs this stability. Right? This is going to improve your athletic performance. It's going to help if you're a runner. 
right? Picking your knees up towards your chest, using your cord. Oh boy, one more set. In, cross, in, and cross. Beautiful work, guys. Whew. You guys feeling it? Yes. Okay, good. I heard a yes out there somewhere in the Ethernet somewhere. All right, we're gonna have our now our toes on the floor. We're gonna do a little tucks. I know this is more of an intermediate advanced class. Woo. But you can do it. I know you can. You can just do one rep. That's what you can do. Let's do 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Wow. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh my goodness. Okay, shake out those wrists. Shake out the wrists. Okay, we're going to uh, strengthen the forearms a little bit. So we're going to reach the arms up overhead, and we're going to open, close, open, close, open, close. Good. This is going to help you to strengthen the forearms and the wrists. I know that they get a lot of pressure, right, when we do these. And sometimes that causes pain. But we have to make sure that we're also pushing the floor away. You can't just dump your weight into your wrists as well, okay? So you gotta help yourself. But this is also going to help really activate these muscles. So when we get back on our plank, they'll feel all fired up. If this is hurting your shoulders for whatever reason, you can bring your hands forward like this. Okay, good. Woo! Happy Wednesday! How are you guys doing this morning? Did you guys go to my salsa class last night? It was super fun. Got a lot of really good feedback that you loved it. It's still on my live right now. It'll be up for 24 hours. So make sure you go check that out on my Instagram if you haven't yet. Just like 15, 20 minutes. Okay, shake out those wrists. <clears throat> We're gonna do those three exercises again, okay? So again, do yourself a favor. Push the floor away, activate the, the forearms, okay? You can't just dump everything in. You're gonna be, you're gonna be in pain. So you gotta practice pushing the floor away. All right, here we go. So we're gonna pull the knees in and extend out. If you need to modify for whatever reason, you could just practice by picking the knees up here like this, right? Maybe sliding's too much, but you can pick them up and extend that way. Beautiful. You're doing awesome. Let's do 10 more. You've got this, 10. Feel those arms working. Nine. Tell yourself you're strong because you are. Eight. Seven, you can do anything that you put your mind to. Six. You've got this, five. Oh boy, I need to take a break. And four. Three. Two, and one. Okay, take a breather. You know where we're heading, the next two exercises. So we're getting a ton of arm work, right? So much, so much arm work, which is awesome, right? We don't need to do like extra like bicep curls or anything because the arms are working like crazy. Okay, so we're gonna pull it in and cross. In and cross. In, if you got the music going, this is, you can go to tempo with your music. And in, cross. Remember to pull your weight up out of your wrist by putting the weight into your knuckles, into your fingers. Good. In, and cross. In, and cross. In, and cross. In, and cross. Good, one more each side. In and cross. Okay, we've got the toe slides, the toe little pike plank. Whew. Shake out the wrist. All right, so last exercise and we'll get off the wrist. Here we go, up on the toes. Here we go, lift it up, up, and up, up. Nice work, squeeze those ankles together. 
Good, and 10, nine, eight, seven, oh boy, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, guys. Wow, you are so strong. I am so proud of you for being here, waking up, rolling out of bed, getting your booty moving. So, so, so good. All right, so now I'm going to um, roll over onto my back. I'm gonna just use the edge of the mat. I don't need the whole mat. I need room for my heels to slide. Okay, I wanna make sure. Ugh. Okay, can you still see me on Instagram? Yes, you can. Okay, so lift those heels, or lift the hips up. Palms press down, shoulders press down. And you're going to extend the legs long and pull them in. So we're going into hamstring curls here. Extend and pull in. Good, eight and seven, six, five, Good, four, how are you feeling? Three, I bet you're feeling those hamstrings. Two, and one, it feels pretty good though, right? All right, lift on up, lift those hips up, squeeze the booty up, make sure that you're not just pushing here into the back, right, it's from the hamstrings, from the legs. Good, we're just gonna do little pulses, little tiny pulses in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Good. Woo! Let's do those hamstring curls again. Ten. And in. You've got this. Nine. Eight. Oh boy. Seven. Oh my goodness. Six. Let's feel those hamstrings burn. This is so good for total stability in your legs, right? I used to get really bad shin splints and have really tight, like, bottoms of my feet and calves. And when I strengthen my hamstrings like this, it really, really helps to take the pressure off of that. Plus, I'm quad dominant, which means my quads always take over. So when I strengthen my hamstrings, it really balances out my whole body. So these are so good for that. All right, little pulses. And pulse for 10, nine, eight, oh boy, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You guys, I can't hide anything up here. <laughs> I'm dying, you see it. Okay, no editing, totally raw. All right, here we go. So we're gonna do one leg at a time now. I know, crazy town, crazy town, it is. Let's just do five, okay? So five at a time, five, one leg, four, three, two, and one. Uh, okay, other side, and five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, all right, lift on up. Why do I put myself through this torture? Okay, because it feels so good, right? It feels really good. All right, so we're gonna get into some little sliding squats here. So we're gonna slide in, slide down to squat. Slide in and squat, good. Good job, eight and up. Keep going with that. I'm just gonna adjust the camera a bit. Okay. Nice, probably like on five here, five, and up, four, and up, three, and up, two, up, one. Good, we're gonna hold here, we're gonna hold this little squat here, a little squat. Squat it down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Good, shift over to the side. We're gonna really extend that leg long, as long as you can. Good, we're gonna stand it all the way up. Slide it down, scoop that booty back, 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 back. Oh, and get it all the way back up. Nice. 
Get as far down as you can, and, as, and then stand it all the way up. Woo! You're gonna feel that inner thigh working like crazy, right? The stabilizer muscle here. And up. Nice and slow, no need to go fast, right? We wanna get into the muscle really, really deep. So you don't need to move fast at all. The slower you go, actually, the better. Because lots of times when your body speeds up, you are skipping over parts that you're actually weak. So when you kind of want to speed through something, you know that um, that's a weak area. So try to slow down even more if you find your body wanting to speed up. Nice. Right, because just trying to use momentum instead of the actual muscles. Good, four more. Four. So make sure you're getting your booty as far back as you can. So I'm scooting my booty back, 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 back. Oh, and then I'm getting it all the way back up. Three. All right, last two right here, two. And up, and one, hold it down, yes. We're gonna hold, little tiny pulses, just 10. Nine, eight, seven, I'm burning, six, five, four, three, two, you've got this, one, and stand up, woo! Great job, great job, shake it out, shake it out, woo! All right, you are doing awesome. We are getting our legs so strong. Okay, so, let's go to the other side, slide it down to squat, 10 times 10, and, Nine, you can feel the difference between the two legs now, right? Eight, feels really good. Seven, you're gonna walk away from this class feeling tall and proud. I always say tall because I'm only five two, so whatever, I, whatever work that I do, I wanna try to you know, stand taller, but we all wanna stand taller, right? So when you stand taller, you still stand prouder, you feel more confident in your body. So your posture really does have an emotional effect on you. So when you do a workout like this and you're feeling tall and your posture strong, then you're going to feel strong, right? Mentally, you're going to improve your mental strength. Let's do a little pulses out right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, okay. <sighs> Guys. This is a great workout. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna slide it all the way down, scoot that booty back, get as far down as you can, get a little bit further, and then stand it up, nice. Wherever you're at, I want you to go even a little bit further than you can think. It's okay, if you fall, no one's watching, right? And if you fall, you're like, what, six inches away from the floor? So, see how far you can go. Challenge yourself. Get out of your comfort zone. Growth happens outside of your comfort zone. We gotta move ourselves into places of discomfort, into places that challenge our mind and our body. That's how you find your true strength. Nice, four more, four, and then you realize, wow, it wasn't even that bad. Why was I holding myself back? How many times do we do that when we hold ourselves back from our truest, fullest potential? Because we're scared, all right? This is about getting over that fear. You've got this. Three more, three, and stand up. Two more, scoot that booty back. And up, Woo! and one, and up. Nice, come all the way back down. And little pulses here for 10. Nine, oh boy, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, shake it out. How's it going over here, guys? Whew. So this will be saved on my YouTube. YouTube here, how you guys doing? You guys are doing awesome. Okay, all right. Yeah, yesterday's hit class, was really intense. If you haven't done it yet, go watch the replay. It was amazing. It's in the live quarantine workout playlist on my YouTube channel. 
Okay, so we're gonna bring those hands back down to the floor. All right, so you can use the mat or you could not use the mat. I'm not gonna use the mat. I like to practice on wood because I it, uh, it allows me to get stronger. Good. So we're gonna take the legs, we're gonna come into a little squat and stand up. Nice, so we're gonna do like a little, like a little burpee, all right? So slide those legs in, stand all the way up. Nice, sliding burpees. Let's do 10 like this. 10, in, up, woo! Nine, get that heart rate up. Eight. Pretty fun, right, doing the sliding. Seven. And six. And five. Oh boy. Three. I know. You guys have to hear all my, my grunting and heavy breathing. Two. And up. And guess what? We're going to hold that plank. Yes, you guessed it. We're gonna go out and out and out and out and good. You've got this. Keep holding, keep holding. Out and out and out and out and good for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whoo! You are so strong. Let's get back into it. Bring those hands back up. We're gonna run it out. In, 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 in. Good. Push the floor away. As you start to get tired, especially, don't let yourself sink down. Straighten the arms. Push the floor away. Spread the fingers wide. Put the weight into the knuckles. Right? That'll help to take the weight off of the wrist. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh my gosh, guys. Why am I so crazy? I don't know. Feels good though, right? Whew. Okay, we're gonna do our pipe planks and then we're gonna get off our wrists, okay? So, little pipe planks on the toes for 10. See if you can bring the hips up higher this time. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. You get a little bonus foot stretch in there as well. Really good for ankle mobility. Okay, I just got really hungry. Whew. Okay, <laughs> very random thought. All okay. right, so we're gonna do our little, our curtsy lunges. Curtsy lunges, two, Sliders, or skater sliders. Okay, 10. Pick a side, doesn't matter, we're gonna do both. I know I'm like reverse for you guys. Nine, and eight, and seven. So this is total body. Working the arms so much in those planks. Good, five. And four. And three. Oh boy. Two. And one. We're gonna slide it out to the side. You're gonna pick that leg up 10 times. 10. Stay down on this leg. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Let's go to the other side. And cross it out. Good. Curtsy to slide. Ten. Nine. Good. Give a little smile. Eight. And seven. And six. I'm out of breath. Look, we're not even doing... Traditional cardio, right? Pretty amazing. Five. 
And four. Three. Stick with it, you're so far, right? At this point, you gotta finish it out. Finish what you came here to do. Nice, now we're gonna do the lifts. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, stay down on that leg. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Oh boy, guys. Okay, let's see how much time we have left. We have about five minutes left. Okay, we're gonna do some arms and some obliques to finish. We gotta get pumped up for our last five minutes together. Woo! All right, hands are down on the floor. We're gonna cross our legs. All right, so you're gonna have both ankles crossed. Little lifts, but see how my hips are turned to one side? So we're gonna get into the obliques. Little lifts. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Keep that booty up. 
and then lift up, 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 up. This is our finisher for class. It's the most challenging one, but you've got this. So I'm gonna lift, 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 lift. Woo! And keep it off the floor the whole time. Woo! Oh man, good. We're just doing five of them, so that's four. And hand up. Good. Three. Oh gosh. Wow, this is tough. Try to do five, okay? I'm on three. And two. And one. Hold up. Reverse plank. Hold, hold, hold. Good. For five. Push the floor away even more. Four. Three. Two. And come down. Oh my goodness. Wow. Why am I so crazy? That was so good though, right? This is that type of class you're like, wow. I didn't even know this stuff was kind of possible, right? Okay, shake out those wrists. Let's do a nice little cool down. So I give a little traction to my wrists. So I take my hand here and I do a little, a little wiggle just to give it some relief because we were on the wrist a lot, I know. So they get stronger though, okay? So they do get stronger the more you're on them. So just give a little traction, a little traction and release. Nice, shake them out, shake them out. Nice and gentle. Good, just do nice little wrist rolls. Woo! Wow, guys, that was an intense class. Beautiful work, let's bring the feet together. If you're watching here on my YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to my channel.